All right, let's go right into our post race for today's 18th annual Cobalt 400 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And we're joined by A.J. Allmendinger. And A.J. came in sixth today. That's his second back-to-back. Uh, -back. Well, that is his second. It's his back-to-back. Back-to-back, yeah. Back-to-back. Yeah. Back -back -back. Also known as back-to-back. -back. Right. Yeah. Top ten finishes. And congratulations, A.J. You were uh, running strong all day. And uh, you drive the number 47 Clorox Chevrolet. Uh, and, and certainly a great couple uh, races for you. And just talk about coming out on this West Coast swing and obviously getting off to a good start. Yeah, it's, um, it's important. Uh, Vegas has never been a, a great racetrack for me, especially if you look at my stats. It's, uh, it's always been a tough, tough racetrack. I haven't had a lot of fond memories about it. So uh, to come out here, we got to do the test, the Goodyear tire test. Uh, in January, I thought that helped us out a little bit, but um, ultimately, you know, I was really happy as the weekend progressed. We kept getting a little bit better and better. Uh, we weren't as good as we wanted to be uh, kind of over the course of the weekend, but uh, I think the RCR alliance really helped. Uh, obviously, the 31 and the 78 cars really fast, and we kind of second practice yesterday switched over to more uh, their setup, and uh, that really kind of woke the car up and got us in a good place. So. Having that alliance and ECR power and, and everything we get with Chevy uh, really, really he helped this Clorox Chevy throughout the course of the day. And honestly, probably, you know, it, Watkins Glen is what it is, but I, I, I really look at this race as one of the best races I feel like we've, we've run as a race team just over, over the year now that we've been together. Uh, <coughs> car was consistent all day. We kept kind of chipping away at it. Right at the end there, I thought we really had a fast race car. Uh, was was kind of catching the guys and and uh, a few more laps might have been able to uh to get a couple more guys so overall really pleased um you know everybody on this 47 team uh you know my crew chief brian burns he's he's just working hard my my engineer tony palmer and everybody on the team uh all of our sponsors clorox and kingsford bush's beans uh what else we got on there hungry jack hungry jack potatoes hungry we got jack. shore lunch better than bouillon uh what else we got on there? Scott Products, uh, thank you. Uh, everything, what up? yeah, they're all right here. Everything else, there's a lot of people, yeah, everybody, you got it right here. So there's a lot of good sponsors on our car. I'm pretty excited about that. AJ, we'll take some questions now, and we'll start with Jenna Fryer right here. Jenna Fryer, AP, I have a lot of questions, so settle in. Did you, um, I, I read or saw something somewhere, were you not feeling well? Did you need to be treated today? Not today. Um, I. I put it this way I would definitely went 100 percent today but la yesterday I was awful um never hit me that uh, yeah, I'm pretty usually knock on wood I'm, I'm not sick a lot and just over the course of, of this week kind of started feeling not great Friday night I wasn't feeling really well I thought I was just tired and yesterday uh <clears throat> it turned bad I was okay in the morning and then all of a sudden everything on my body ached I went to the infield care center so I got to thank them a lot because they uh they gave me some some stuff and some recommendations to uh, make me a whole lot better. Because if we had had a, if we had a race last night, I don't know if I could have raced. I mean, I couldn't. I was in bed from two o'clock in the afternoon till I went to sleep, barely just able to move. So uh, it hit me pretty quick, and um, you know they they gave me the right recommendation and and uh, stuff to uh, antibiotics to to feel better. I wasn't feeling fantastic today, but was way better than uh, way better than yesterday. Glad you're feeling better. Hey, thanks, Jenna. You got it. Um, you made the chase last year with a win. How, wh what do you guys want to do as an organization this year? I assume you want to be in contention and, and solidly in contention in points and not have to, you know, use yeah. anything like that. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome to make the chase. And, and with this format, you know, you win one and, and it, obviously you get in right away and, and that helps. But, you know, we were, if you look at overall points, we were a 22nd place team through the course of the year, and, and we ran better in the chase and, and had a shot at the top 10 in points, but, uh, you know, I felt like we were a 20th place car, 22nd place car most of the year, so it's just the stuff we're doing right now. That's what I want to do is just keep consistently having uh, top 15 runs, and, and when we nail it like we did today, get inside the top 10 and get closer to the front, and we'll have certain races that we know we can be a car that can go out there and, and win a race, but just the stuff we're doing right now, just getting better each weekend, I love what the guys are doing back at the shop. The race cars that we're putting out are, are so nice. They're really pumped up about them. So uh, just keep getting better each weekend, and, and uh, 
hopefully, you know, we look at, at the results, you look at the RCR Alliance, most of the cars, you know, it was kind of led by Martin and, and the 31 this weekend, but uh, cars are fast. Austin winning yesterday in the Xfinity race. So as an organization and as a group, I think we're all getting better, and that's what we need. Let's hear now also from our race runner-up. That's Martin Truex, Jr. He drives the number 78 Furniture Row Chevrolet. And uh, Martin comes in to, after today's yeah. race, fourth in points, uh, off to the uh, best start uh, I know in the, in the history of, uh, of that organization, and, and Martin certainly are continuing to, uh, to excel. Uh, you led some laps and ran up front. Just talk about the continued progress that this race team is making. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, honestly, just another solid weekend, really, in general. Just, uh, you know, had a good day on Friday, you know, practiced well yesterday, felt good about the car going into today, and, um, you know, just had another solid day. No mistakes, uh, no bad luck, uh, fast race car, and, um, you know, the the biggest thing I guess I was proud of today or took away from it was we were off a little bit at the beginning of the race and you know, worked on it all day long, continued to get better, and at the end we were the best we'd been all day. So, um, you know, that's what you like to see out of your team. You like to finish strong. Um, and, uh, you know, all in all, just really proud of the guys for, for, you know, giving me a fast race car all weekend long, giving me a fast race car each weekend this year, really. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of momentum on our side right now, and hopefully we can keep building on that, build some more momentum, and, uh, you know, hopefully be able to catch that four car in a few weeks. We'll go up to the press box now for a question or two. Go ahead, press box for Martin Thank Truex, you. Jr. or Lisa AJ Allmendinger. Motorsport.com. Um, two questions. One first for Pumpkin. Sorry you're not feeling well. And uh, you said intermediate tracks were your, your problem area last year. And uh, what, you know, where has been the biggest change for that? And for both of you, you guys are single car teams. You're in this alliance with RCR, and it really seems to be paying dividends for both organizations right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's. Um, I, I I think as a group, it, it's uh, as a group as as the RCR alliance were. That's we're just better as a whole. I mean, if you see the way the car's been running at the beginning of the year, uh, you know, and for us, it, it's something we kind of hit on at the end of last year. And with the rules package change, we didn't know if how much of a difference it would be. And kind of this weekend, we went back to some of the stuff we ran right at the end of the year. And I think uh, as a whole, the team's just putting out better race cars. You know, we last year, we just were always behind trying to build a race car. We did the alliance so late. So more than anything, we're just way more prepared and ahead of, uh, of where we were last year, just building race cars and getting the bodies right and getting all those little details you need to, uh, to really – go from that 20th place car to start breaking in the top 10. So uh, for us, I think that's that's kind of where we're ahead right now. Yeah. Uh, no, you're not answering the rest. Martin, you want to just talk about that as well, just single car team? And just single car team, how single awesome Single car team right and, and how the alliance with RCR is working out. Well, it works great for us, obviously. Um, you know, and I think to AJ's point, just having a year under our belts all working together, I think that you know, AJ and I were both new coming into that system last year um, and, you know, just getting in there and, and, you know, those guys getting confidence in us, our teams working together better. Um, you know, Cole is, Cole really came up and our engineer Jazzy, they really came up through that RCR program and so they're really tight with the, with the group there and really bought into their engineering program, um, really buying into the way they're building their cars and, and really trying to stay on the same page and not say, well, we're going to go down this road and do our own thing. We're going to use some of what we, what we can get from you and use some of our own stuff. They really bought into the system and um, building stuff like the 31 does. And, and I think AJ's stuff is along the same lines. So just getting more experience together, uh, getting more confidence in each other, and, um, and really just having a better game plan going into the season uh, is a big part of the reason why the cars are running better and all the teams are – you know, seem to be running closer together. Come back downstairs, I think. David, David, my man from Albuquerque, he's got a question. Uh, David Swope, BSPN Radio, Albuquerque. Uh, Martin, uh, you talked a little bit about the kind of the turnaround and some different things. I is there any uh, chance that this new uh, car and the, uh, the way it's a little bit more like the, uh, the Xfinity series, is that it maybe playing into your driving style a little bit better and that's where some of the su success is coming from? Uh, maybe a little bit, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think so. Um, you know, I think last year if they would have cut two inches of spoil off everyone and took away, you know, horsepower and everything else, we still would have ran like we did. You know, we had we, we had fundamental issues last year that we needed to correct in the wintertime. So, 
um, obviously out of the box it's it's been a lot better and and you know I don't I don't contribute our, our success to the rules changes I contribute it to knowing what we were doing wrong last year and fixing it over the winter time and coming out of the box kind of understanding what we're doing let's work our way right down here Mike Embry and then the stand Mike raise your hand Mike Embry USA Today uh, Martin were you aware that Harvick Kind of thought he might be having issues there in the last 10 laps or so. and were, were you ready to pounce if that happened? I noticed he was getting a lot bigger, and I asked him, why in the hell is Harvick so slow right now? <laughs> they were, they'd give me his lap, my lap time and then his. I'm like, what's going on? So I really thought he was just, you know, playing with us, you know, like just taking it easy because he knew he had a big gap. Uh, so they never said anything to me about him thinking he had any issues or anything else. Hey, you might have mentioned this before I came in, but you, you mentioned a few minutes ago uh, about – correcting fundamental issues from last year. Can you kind of go into that a little deeper? What? No. Okay. Not really. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> fundamentally. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah. It was fundamentally screwed up. Now it's not. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. Okay, let's go over here to Stan. Stan Creekmore with competitionplus.com. AJ, you talked about how well the car was. You talked about how you, you know, how you physically feel better today than you did yesterday and everything. But what about the pit stops? Because you never seem to lose anything during each of the pit stops. So your pit crew must, must be a lot better as well. Yeah, I mean, last year we, uh, that was that was tough because when we'd run well, we'd struggle in in pit stops. And um, you know, I, I have to give most of the credit to our our Jack Man, which is our pit crew coach. Michael Klein, um, anybody that's seen him, he's a beast. He walks around. He's just one big muscle walking around. And, uh, and he, he, he's been at the 47 team for, gosh, almost since it started, really. I mean, he, he bleeds for, uh, for all of us, for Tad and Jody and Brad. And uh, he took it to heart last year. He was upset about it, and he worked hard. Uh, we didn't make a lot of changes. There was a couple of few changes we made on the pit crew, but still uh, it's – I would say at least half the same people we had as last year, but uh, you know they they've worked hard. The whole pit crew has. They're uh, they're so much better this year. Honestly, I'm probably the weakest link for them right now. I'm trying to make sure I uh, I figure out how they want to to get in the pit box and and stuff like that. So they're doing a great job. And uh, but that's what you have to do. You know when you run up front, uh, that pit stop becomes a lot more critical than when you're running twentieth. So as a group. You know, we all got to get better together. But Michael Klein, is, uh, he's put it on these guys. They've worked hard, and, and it's showing. Let's go over here to the left, Jim Utter, and then we'll go to Jim Peltz, far left. Jim Utter, Shaw Observer for Martin. Um, you talked about the struggles of last year on the track and with all the stuff that uh, you, you and Sherry have gone through. What does it feel like, at least at the beginning of this season, uh, what does it do for your psyche to be able to walk away from the racetrack on a weekend being competitive? Well, it's, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's just fun. As a competitor, that's what you want. I, I mean, last year was, you know, there was days where it was just really hard to, you know, even think about racing because it was like it was so miserable. Um, but I think at the end of the day, uh, I'm proud of our guys for sticking behind me. Um, you know, I think that there was never a time where I quit on them. I never gave up on them. We worked hard all year long, and we definitely started to see some light at the end of the tunnel at the end of the season. Um, and that was a good thing. That really is what spurred on the, um, you know, the, the performance that we have now because we started to understand things. Things started to make sense, and we had a plan at the end of the season of how we were going to go about doing this, trying to get this team turned around. And, um, you know, so it was good that, uh, that everybody fought hard last year and, and never gave up. And, uh, you know, we got a great owner. Barney Visser has been behind us still 100% since, uh, since I've been there. And, I'm uh, just real thankful for that and thankful for all the guys on the team and the job they've done. Well, this Todd gentleman Dewey, right here. Todd Dewey from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Kind of along those same lines of everything you went through with your girlfriend. I just wanted to talk a little bit how that changed your perspective on life and your outlook on racing. Well, it, it, it changed a lot. It puts a lot of things into perspective, without a doubt. Um, you know, I think that, you know, those, those bad days are not near as bad, you know, at the racetrack as you thought they were. Um, when you get a glimpse of you know, something that could possibly change your life like that in a bad way, uh, it makes you look at things a lot differently. So uh, suddenly those bad days at the racetrack weren't so bad. Suddenly they were okay. 
And, you know, I knew that if we just kept working hard, we could get through it all. And certainly uh, I feel like we have now. But, you know, we're going to continue to work hard and try to get to that next level. Uh, we want to win races. We've got a great team. We've got good equipment right now. And, you know, it's important when you're in those positions to try to take advantage of that. So we're going to keep pushing and uh, try to get better and hopefully get in victory lane a few times. Any additional questions? Congratulations to both of you, AJ Thanks, and guys. Martin. Appreciate and good it. luck at Phoenix.